In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with MERN, which is Mongo Express React Node. It's not, um, I'm not going to show you how to do them, um, React or Node development, anything like that. Just a great starting point for a boilerplate. Very simple, um, easy to use, and it's quick to use as well. Jumping over to my screen, you'll now see this Mortmurn boilerplate. I found this um, when I needed a starter uh, boilerplate code, and I just want something simpler than the Create Re React app application. That's another thing you can take a look at. Um, just give it a Google. This is something different. This is uh, created by a guy named uh, Eugene. This is the page. You can check out his, his the real copy as well. So this is my forked version. And this is what we're going to use. You need to have Node.js um, 6 installed. And then I also recommend you have to have MongoDB installed. And this is going to use the React, Express, um, SAS, Webpack. So I actually eventually changed from my own, changed from SAS to CSS, but either one will work. So, you have two options. Head over to the screen button, hit uh, copy the uh, git clone link or you can download the zip so I'm gonna CD over to my desktop do a git clone and then copy the Mern boilerplate and I'm gonna switch into it okay and then so looking actually at the code we'll have to do an npm install like any uh, any other uh, um, node application to, to install the packages I'm gonna open up Atom so now I've just opened up the Mern boilerplate code in Atom here. This is what we have. We have the license, the package JSON, the README. Um, it tells you, you know, npm install, you have to have node. I also have this here, MongoDB Compass. I recommend actually downloading because it gives you a visual way to actually look at your code. Um, look at your, sorry, your, your database. You have the server file, which has essentially a production and the dev environments, which looks at here in the config. Um, dev or prod and then these are the common aspects these are all your loaders for webpack um, as you can see it loads sas files so .scss and you can actually change that to be um, .css or you can add an actual css loader um, and then this is what they give you so they give you this config.examples.js and they tell you you know copy, copy this file to config.js in the same folder which we're going to do copy and paste and you can actually just copy the file I'm gonna copy it over here and it's being get ignored based on my um, Adam and showing you you can remove all this this is gonna be your username and password you'd set up if you go to a production environment you can also do it on a local environment but I don't think it's needed and you open up Mongo uh, compass here MongoDB compass it's gonna load Check on our NPM, it's still installing here. Didn't think Mongo took this long. Now it's open. Uh, no. Close all this. So there's a new, so but as you can see, the default port here is 27017. And so that's, and local host is the name. Um, you have no sort of authentication, so that's why we removed the username and password. And so we're going to jump over to, back over here, localhost, and then 27017. And then the database name is, um, let's just call it example123, just so you can see. I know I have other d databases in my um, MongoDB, so uh, just to get it unique. So, and there it is, and we're good, we're ready to go on setup. What this is, is looking in here you have components you have your take a look at the router here so you have your um, if it's a basic path it, it opens up home here right which calls a back-end server um, with counters and then all the app is in all always in the header and the footer and the main um, and then the other page is hello world and then there's a page not found as well and so that's the entire Mongo project he has set up here. Real simple, which is really nice because typically you don't actually want like you don't actually want all this React stuff all like all done for you. I, I, I usually personally I just want like two pages, 
and then the, the app wrapper, the React React Writer, all set up, all that. So if I want to go add another page, I just go in here, you know, add Hello World, and then I guess two, and then I can add a new component. It's called you know Hello World two, and I could copy this over and import it. And you can take a look at more React, um, how to get actually get started with React. I'm not going to go into that right now. This is just getting you like getting you going on in terms of um, having a basic project ready. So as you can see, it's now all imported. So if you jump over to the README, it tells you you can do production mode as npm start, or you can do npm run start dev. It's going to give you um, the exact URL that you have to look at. So here it is here, localhost 880. Sorry, not 880, 8080. So localhost. And here it is. Here's your Mern boilerplate code. You have your Hello World page. You actually have your second one as well because we added that in there. It's the exact same. The contents is here's the header, here's the footer, and then here's the contents depending on which page you're on. And the other thing is, okay, so now that we have this, we're, let's hit connect. We don't actually. So there's no actual uh, database here called DB Example One Two Three. But if we go uh, new counter, and go over here and refresh this. It might die. I actually don't know, um, but if it definitely if you go, you know, plus one here, plus minus. I mean, these to just change in the database, right? And here it is. DB example one two three. You have counters. Here's your document. The count is currently two. Um, let's change that to be five. Jump back over here. Refresh the page. Uh, I just did a command R or Control R. This is just this is just a Atom application, so connect I guess. DB one two three counters, and the count is now five. And so this is just your this just shows you how to use a Mern on the back end. And then if you actually look at the if you actually look at the actual server code here, so on. On the home page, you know, you're making calls to API slash routers, and then you go to the server and you have your model, which is the counter here, which is just a, has a count element and it's a number. You go to the API here and it gets all this, all the children files in the API here. And here it is like post API counter saving the new counter object when you click, hit the new new counter button there it creates a new and so what would you do if, if you went to go build your own application on top of this you just create your own um, rest api first and then you go over the react side and you create your your components and things like that so that's the starting point for mern if you like this video please subscribe i have some others check them out as well yep clearly working hard